Go vegan and stop being scared of spiders. Woo! Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today. Today's video has been super requested. Let's do this. I am going to talk to you guys about what happened when I went vegan. What sort of things happened in my body? What sort of things happened in my head? What sort of thing happened with my relations to other people? Just fun things that happened. I think I'm going to, to have to, to do several videos about this because it is, I reckon, quite a huge subject and I have lots to say. I am zero waste and I have been so for three and a half years. About two and a half years ago I decided to cut out old meat and it went in the beginning badly and it was a journey to be full vegetarian and then I worked from full vegetarian to veganism from there and I have no idea for how long actually I've been actually vegan but it's not very long um, but I've been possibly hard, six months, nine months something like that it's not been a very long time and or maybe I don't know but things happened to me around me when I, went, when I went vegan and when I started calling it vegan and when I started talking about it and when I wasn't afraid anymore to just refuse things and say, you know what, I'm actually a vegan. Because I something that I realized held me back for a very, very long time was the prejudice regarding veganism or was the potentially negative responses. And at some point, I think, within the last few months I am sort of at the stage where I say, you know, sort of and I don't really give a shit what other people think about it because this is something that makes so much sense to me and I'm recommending it to everybody because it makes so much sense. So that is where I'm at. But things happened to me when I went vegan. Firstly, something that happened that I didn't expect to be happening at all was my taste bud changed completely and I know it happens to some and I know it doesn't happen to other people but things that I haven't been able to stomach and things I haven't been able to stand before is something that I can eat without problems at all whatsoever. Previously I've, I've really really despised raw onion. I haven't been able to do it at all and raw onion is not a problem anymore. I can eat you know things just well. Um, jalapenos have been something that I haven't been able to do, which I can do now, which is great. And generally mushrooms as well is something that I really, really enjoy, but I didn't do that before. Generally, um, I've, I've not been a picky eater per se, but I have had my idea of things that I want or didn't, didn't, didn't want. So, But I think it's some sort of mentality that, oh, now that I am cutting out all of these things, I, didn't, I cannot afford to also be a picky eater when it comes to my vegetables, when it comes to my greens in general. So uh, in that sense, I've started to eat all greens and just being, I've been, it makes sense somehow because what I usually hear when, when, when I say that I'm vegan is that people, they, they ask me if it's restricting or if I miss stuff and if I'm curious about these, these things, but you know, to be, to, to, to be fair, I've been eating meat and dairy my entire life. I am not curious about meat and dairy because I know exactly what it is. I know exactly what chicken tastes like. I know exactly what cheese tastes like. What I do not know is all of these amazing vegan dishes and all of these amazing vegetables that you can do so many things with. I'm so curious and gastronomically curious about my vegetables and it's amazing. Um, so, so yeah, my taste buds changed completely, but I also read somewhere that actually, especially dairy, sort of numbs your taste buds, so it, it's, it's becoming more and more difficult the more you eat, the more and more difficult it is to, to actually taste sweetness in something like a carrot, because they are completely numb, and they are used to just a very, very high uh, level of sweetness and a very high level of fattiness, and your taste buds, they benefit so, so much from, from eating this, and because you can actually taste your food. I know it sounds weird, but it's true. For me, in my case, it was true. Um, so yeah, that was one thing that happened that I, I really, really enjoy and I appreciate it every day because also when I've been out with friends or family and whatnot, I've been uh, looking at the menu and maybe there are one or two things that I can eat in, in restaurants here in, in my general area that I can eat. And 
beforehand I would probably say, oh, but I really like this one, but without that and without that and without that because I don't really care for it. And I don't do that anymore because I care for it. I, I love all of the greens. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that is something that happened. Another thing that happened is that I'm not afraid of animals anymore. Especially, I've always been not, you know, super, super, super scared of animals, but something like if there was a spider in my room, I could, you know, become this no, go away. Um, I do not I do not feel that anymore, which is something I didn't expect to happen and it's going to sound like, oh my life, my universe. Mm -mm. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> It's difficult, okay, because I, I was a vegan for quite a while. I, I was eating plant-based for a while, but then I did this experiment where I only had to eat rescue food and some of that had dairy in it, And but I ate that, but yeah. Um, I'm full vegan now, yes, and I'm so delighted and I'm never going back. That's the important part. So, needs to stop. But I think what happened is that veganism made me aware that I am in context with the world. I am a part of it. And in the same way as a spider is part of this world, I am too. Uh, and I actually, I, I was lying outside my garden and I, I couldn't do that before actually because I'm too afraid of, you know, small insects and crawling on me and I'm not afraid of that anymore. Uh, and I was lying there, I'm just chilling and then I saw this spider and it was this close to my face. And without even thinking about it, excuse me, this sounds so stupid. Without even thinking about it, I just said, hey buddy, and then crawled away. So I have never experienced that before and people, my friends and family and whatnot, they tell me that I'm the, oh you're just such a hippie, you just, oh I'm barfing, you're just such a hippie, but um, it, it feels so nice to actually feel connected to something that's bigger than yourself because the only reason why I ate milk and dairy and meat and cheese and all eggs and stuff was for myself. It was because I thought it tasted nice. It was all vanity. And when 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 you discard that, when you don't do that anymore, you you obviously you do it for yourself in some way because health is a huge thing in veganism, but you also do it for something that's bigger than yourself. You also do it for the well-being of animals and for the well-being of our planet and for the well-being of other people as well. Another thing that happened when I went fully vegan, and I'm so happy that, that you, you guys are so sweet and lovely, um, but you have been commenting a lot on my Instagram that I look very, very nice and that I, I... People say that I glow and that I look so happy all the time. And something that is related to that is also that I'm outside and it's sunny and I love summer and it's great. But it's also because I'm just eating plants and I... It's amazing. And I stopped wearing makeup around May. So I haven't worn makeup in... A little over a month and that is also something that is related to veganism because I feel so good in my own skin I do not feel the need to cover anything up or to you know beautify something because I, I, I honestly feel like I look good as it is and that is something that I have never ever ever felt before I've never ever felt it I've always felt sort of shitty when I wasn't wearing any makeup at all or not not sort of shitty but I could I could not wear makeup when I was just walking around my house, but I could never sit here and film a video for you guys wearing no makeup. And that is something that I, I do now because I feel, generally I feel much better in my own skin than I did before, which is so, so relieving. And that is also related to veganism, so in that sense, ding, ding, ding. Um, so yeah, those are just some, some fun and weird things. I'm just going to take some water here. Um, those are just some fun and weird things that happened to me because of veganism, as a result of it, and it was unexpected, and it was nice, but, you know, we. Um, I would love to know, by the way, I would love to know if you have experienced anything similar, if you have experienced anything weird or unexpected when you went plant-based. Um, I would really, really love to know. And also, if you have any other questions related to veganism and how I do everything, leave them down below as well. I would love to talk more about it because I'm not expecting this to become a zero waste vegan channel, but it is becoming a zero waste vegan channel. So, whatever. Um, but generally, I feel no shame and I, I, I do not feel like, like I need to, to apologize for this journey. And I'm so, so grateful every single day that I took the time to do this and I took the time 
to, to do everything in my own pace. I hope you have a really, really nice day, guys. Take really good care of yourselves until next time. And of course, you can follow me on my Instagram and on Facebook and on my own blog, kittymurray.com. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!